Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another diecast review. Today we are taking a look at a World of Outlaw diecast, or a 118 Sprint car, but it is from the World of Outlaw series, so, you know, still counts the same, right? It's like a NASCAR diecast, stock car diecast, but you get the point. Anyway, uh, as you can see, we are dealing with Logan Schuhart's 2022 1S Drydeen Duramax Sprint car. Uh, this is the second uh, Logan Schuhart I have ever gotten to see, uh, because I've only recently started doing these, so... We'll take a look at it here, um, and yeah, that's what we'll do. So, as you can see, we do have a Logan Schuhart there on the front. We can see the shark there for shark racing. Logan Schuhart at the bottom, and there you can see the shark teeth and the eye there. Uh, over here, let's flip it around. There we go. You can see there's the 1S in victory lane. Uh, looks like it was at Bristol, by the looks of the background there, with his uh, NOS Energy drink. Well, the Outlaw logo there, or the stand, pit stand, whatever they would call that thing. There you can see Drydeen, Duramax liquor, uh, liquid armors. You got C&D, uh, NGK, and NTK, um, Acme sprint cars. Uh, this is an Acme car, so. And then you see 1S, Logan Schuhart. So, pretty cool box art, honestly, considering how bland they're kind of supposed to be. Um, I think they look pretty darn good, if you ask me. But now we're going to go ahead and get a little closer. A little closer. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at this car. So we've already got it already unboxed, uh, saving ourselves some time there. I have done these unboxings before, so if you need to check and see how to unbox it properly, um, you can go back and find some of my older reviews. Uh, also, I'll probably have the Casey Kane one. I'll do that one as a fresh box later in the year when that comes out. So uh, if you're interested in that, say you just got yours and you're curious how to pull it out of the box because you're struggling go back to some of those other reviews i have taken them out of the box this one it does take time so that's why i just have this one all put together but as you can see on the left side here you we've got drydeen you can see the 1s uh biggest difference from last year this year a lot more white a little bit of red at the bottom and a little bit of blue up top uh the other one was a lot more red altogether. together uh, you can see we got duramax liquid armor there on the side we got logan Schuhart, the uh ls there uh you can see we got our 1s back here on the tail tank and then we can see uh, actually it's a red american flag there's the stars and stripes um you can see we've got williams grading right there on the front wing and you can see there's the eye and the mouth for the shark for shark racing going around to the front we got drydeen and liquid armor up there uh there you can see shuhart across that front windshield or not front windshield <laughs> front top wing uh over here you can see we do have the uh world of outlaw sprint cars logo ntk and gk uh sponsors 1s drydeen all on here duramax again uh 1s so all the same types of details there um we'll go ahead and pull this up so at least you can see the engine detail you just kind of oh it's gonna be gonna be a little bit of a pain there we go pull that mo engine cover off and there you can see uh the engine detail in there we also do a pretty good seat detail but you can see it's kind of encased so it's hard to see but there is seat belts steering wheels all that stuff down in there but you can see there's the air filter uh there's our tailpipes plug wires radiator up there at the front so pretty pretty cool details there we'll get that engine cover slid right back in place where it belongs perfect there we go and there you go there's our engine detail or our engine cover right back in where it belongs posable front wheels you can see the steering column there or the steering steering arm um and then you can see we do have our silver rims uh with a little bit little black center mounted on the inside of them um c and d rigging right there on the front wing as well overall if i had to choose between the two i actually probably probably prefer um probably prefer last year's car to this one in terms of paint scheme that being said i do actually really like the blue up there he did win um the capitani classic uh this year at knoxville uh, i wasn't actually there for that because i only got down there thursday uh, but I had a good run at knoxville ran fourth in this car so pretty cool there uh i will be getting the 164 that i'm gonna have a big 164 collection just can't get a ton of these so uh anyway guys if you're looking to try and find one of these you can find them at my website rasdiecast.com make sure to use the promo code race craze get you a nice discount it's 9.5 percent because obviously the channel's 95 um but yeah you can definitely use that anytime uh i know i had some questions on my hundred dollar free shipping i used to do that any order over 100 was free shipping that has changed uh inflation has pretty much killed any opportunity for me to continue that and so i had to do it, change it to the 9.5 percent off so it's not as good as it once was uh but it's the best i can still offer without um you know going too crazy on myself and um you know allowing the website to stay afloat but anyway guys thank you all for watching i hope you have enjoyed and um uh, make sure you do hit that uh, notification bell so you can not miss any of the future sprint car diecast reviews or or cup cars nascars are there too uh, but anyway guys this has been race craze thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one